after booking and rebooking our flight due to the typhoon that battered the Philippines, we finally checked in for the two-sector journey for a quick visit to Manila. So we have finally checked in for our flight and this time there should not be any problem anymore and we are set to go. Philippine Tales takes you on this flight with an 11-hour layover in Kuala Lumpur Airport. We took off from Chennai just a little after midnight. And needless to say, we didn't have a wink of sleep. And the prospect of spending the next 11 hours in the halls of Kuala Lumpur Airport seemed daunting. True, there may be comfortable seats and recliners all over the place, and a host of good restaurants too. But the sleepyhead in us is begging for a comfortable place to stretch and catch up on the much-needed rest since we knew that we have a very tight schedule when we land in Manila. Before boarding the flight, I already went in search online. This website that I have used before came in handy. Sleepinginairport.net have always given us a good place to relax whenever we have long layovers in our earlier flights. We had two choices, airport lounges or airport hotels. Airport lounges are a plenty and they can be found in different corners of the airport. They charge per person for a minimum of three hours stay. The seats are okay, comfortable, but still it's not something that one can fully stretch and actually sleep. To safeguard your belongings in case you sleep, they have lockers for extra fee. Well, there were two of us. We have ample time to kill, enough time to get a good sleep which will require us a safe place to keep our carry-on luggage. And so our choice is obviously airport hotel. But then, that gives us very limited choices as there are only three airport hotels air site, which means hotels that are located inside the airport without crossing the Malaysian immigration. The first was Wellness Spa at the seat terminal just opposite the aerotrain station. They have single room accommodation which did not suit us. Second was the Capsule Hotel which again did not suit us because of its dorm type capsule accommodation. Snoo Scale was another option that we did not even explore because I read some not so good reviews about the place. And then finally, we settled in Sama Sama Express Airport Hotel which is also located in the C terminal just next to gate C5. The hotel was not very far from the aerotrain station. Taking the walk later, we were excited at the prospect of a good nap. The lower lobby is well decorated for the season. We took an elevator to the next level where the hotel lobby is located. And then there we were, just a few minutes to get our room. The lady at the reception was kind enough to give us a room as quickly as possible. And so, groggy and sleep deprived, we head to the corridor leading to our hotel room. Voila! Here we are! The room looks cozy, just like any 5-star hotel. Because yes, the price is indeed 5-star. A bed that's inviting indeed. A huge TV that I'm sure many people who stayed here didn't even look at. A spacious wash and bath area. But wait, there's more. Our room overlooks the tarmac, 
we could see flights taking off and landing. Thankfully, the place is soundproof enough for us not to hear those roaring sounds. After a good six hours sleep, a warm shower, and a nice cup of coffee, we were up and fresh ready to board our next flight. I even had a chance to post her photographs in the hotel's attractive Christmas decoration. As we wait to board our flight to Manila, we were happy to have taken the right decision of booking an airport hotel for our 11-hour layover, or else we may look like walking zombies on Christmas time. <music>